Hey everybody, it's Future Friday, and today we're gonna to be talking about the all new version of the Corolla and what we think this 2025 model could look like. Let's get to it. So the Corolla, of course, is a nameplate that really doesn't need any kind of introduction. That's because it is the best-selling nameplate in the entire world, for those of you who did not know. Um, it's been on sale forever. They have a ton of different versions of it, and over 50 million have been sold. So it's uh, an understatement to say it's a big deal when we're talking about a new generation of Corolla. Yeah. So the current one came out in 2020 model year, at least here in the United States. And that means heading up to about 2025 model year, we should be expecting to see a new Corolla. It's getting close, so now it's time to start kind of thinking about what that could entail. So today we've got some very realistic renderings. We want to start out looking at the exterior. We also have some stuff we can talk about with the interior a little later in the video. So let's check out the exterior first. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start by breaking down this rendering from Theodal. Thank you so much to him for providing this realistic rendering. I think this is actually a very accurate portrayal of what could be this 2025 Toyota Corolla. So let's break this down. So what we're seeing up here in the front um, are quite a few design elements. I think it's a mix of the current Corolla the Crown, and Camry. I think it's really kind of all of those vehicles thrown into one, and I like the way it looks quite a lot. So starting out with the headlights, this is where I see the Crown the most. This is pretty much the Toyota Crown headlight. It is very, um, I think, very possible that we will have a very similar headlight to this. Uh, it's the new direction that Toyota is going. Their most modern sedans have that. Also, it's worth noting I'm seeing a full length light bar across the front here. Um, either that or a piece of chrome um, going through the front. So I kind of hope that they don't actually do that, to be honest. I think that's the trendy yeah. thing that everybody's doing these days. Thus far, Toyota has not done that, but they might with the new Corolla. Like I said, I don't know. It seems a little too trendy for me. I don't know. It doesn't maybe. add anything, but, really. But, you know, it is a you know new element that we're seeing on a lot of new cars, so it could be possible here on the Corolla. Our lower grille is pretty much typical Toyota. Off here to the side, we have pretty aggressive um, side elements here. I imagine what we're looking at rendering-wise is the excess e-trim level for this one right here. Certainly. And then moving a little further onto the side, I want to talk about our wheels. These are new wheels for the Corolla. I think these are very uh, possible to be on this new model. I'd imagine this is 18 inches, considering that the current uh, SE and XSE models have 18 inch wheels. Um, they're probably just gonna swap them out for a new finish sure. on there to make it a nice and fresh look. Uh, but one thing that I do wanna talk about is this two-tone roof that we're seeing here. I think that is very possible that Toyota will add that. A lot in this segment are kind of getting a little bit trendy with the designs and you know the Nissan Sentra is very sporty looking. So Toyota is really gonna have to mm -hmm. bring their A game to this Corolla and I think a two-tone roof option on the XSC will be very possible to see on this new model. Now as we move to the back, we are of course looking at a sedan body style, but Toyota does offer several different versions of the Corolla here in the US. We have the crossover and the hatchback as well as the sedan. Other parts of the world even have a wagon. So there's a lot of different variations. The sedan though is the most popular thing that Americans usually buy. And as you can see, they've kind of gone to more of a slow back design, definitely making it a little bit more aggressive than the current generation is. So that two-tone roof kind of slides back there into a sloped off deck lid. And then we have some really sleek looking design elements. So first off, full length uh, LED taillights um, that matches with that full length LED headlight in the front. Of course, you know, the current Corolla already has a substantial amount of LED lighting, standard LED headlights, a lot of LED uh, elements in the back as well. So. Uh, hopefully we'll see full LED lighting across the board, especially on the high-end trim levels. Corolla spat out across the back. Sure. That's a design element we've seen on uh, all the new Lexus crossovers are getting Lexus spelled out across the back. I see that that probably will occur for this new Corolla model. Um, one thing I want to point out, though, that I find a little interesting is no exposed exhaust outlets. Even though this is like the XSE, XSE rendering, 
We're not going to have like quad exhaust outlets like what we've seen on the Camry or anything like that. And I wouldn't be surprised if no exposed exhaust outlets on any model because of something that we're going to talk about in the powertrain section. So stay tuned for that. Now, we speculated a bit with the exterior. Let's speculate now with the interior. So we have another rendering for this. This one is provided by Auto Yaw. So thanks for providing that as well. And as you can see, we are expecting with this next generation Corolla to see basically a different um, combination of Toyota design characteristics that we've been yeah. seeing in a lot of different models. Toyota is a brand that they tend to theme uh, pretty heavily. You know, some brands do everything different on every model. Toyota will use the same design themes and kind of proliferate that through the whole lineup. So as you can see, You've got a lot of crown elements. Um, you've got Prius elements in that <laughs> interior, stuff like that, BZ4X. Um, and that's yeah. pretty much what we're expecting to see. Yeah, I think this is a very realistic rendering of what we could see. We have the BZ4X steering wheel. I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't really like this steering wheel design. I hope they kind of swap it out for something else. I think it's a little odd looking. Um, but but uh, other important things uh, that I do like are the digital gauges right here. Um, I think that's also very possible that on the very top end models that not on all of them, but on the very high end ones that you would have a digital gauge cluster also that you would have the 12.3 inch display that we see on some of the bigger that Toyotas like the Grand Highlander, place. wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, that's another one of their design elements that we're seeing on some of their new stuff like the Crown, um, some brown accent, uh, accenting with the uh, make of the ve or model of the vehicle, excuse me, down below that. Um, another thing, if as we drop down here, you'll see that this particular artist has heated and ventilated seats on here. Now, this is a thing uh, that I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if they will add it or if they will if they will or won't add that. But to be honest with you guys, it could be a possibility. It's going to depend on how much they want to push the price of the Corolla up. Um, if they stick to around the less than $30,000 mark for a fully loaded model, I'm doubting there will be ventilated seats. But uh, maybe if they go into the 30s, they will have a special trim level that has ventilated seats. Maybe a XLE with a premium package like what we see on like a RAV4. Only the top, top models have ventilated seats. But it could be offered on this new Corolla. And then dropping down to the very end of this rendering, um, we do have the electronic shifter that we've seen on a lot of Toyota Lexus products. I do also imagine that will make its way to the Corolla this year. Also, what I want to point out is that this particular artist rendered it in a lot of different colors, and I think that is going to be something that will be on the all-new Corolla. I think they'll offer a vast array of color options to meet a lot of people's needs. This right here is the brown option. That's probably going to be something you see on like an XLE trim level. And then we do also have a rendering of a red interior. Um, this looks a little bit more pinky, but um, I think we will have a red interior option for the XSE version of the Corolla in specific color combinations. But now the big news under the hood. I say news in quotations because of course nothing is official, but this seems like a very strong candidate for going hybrid exclusive for this yep. next generation. This class of vehicle, people you know, use these as more of an appliance vehicle, generally speaking. You know, of course, you do have like the GR versions of the Corolla, and we would anticipate those will continue on. But most people buy the Corolla just to get from point A to point B. And as such, you don't really care about what's under the hood that much. So switching to a hybrid system, I think, would be a no-brainer to really push that standard fuel economy up to a really high point. So what would that be? Well, we would would be expecting to see just a version of Toyota's typical hybrid system. They could perhaps drop in the bigger version, the two liter um, version with the, um, that comes from the Corolla Cross. That could give you more power up to 196 horsepower. More likely though, they'll stick on the lower end because we already have the Prius at about that um, power point. So I would think they'll stick with the lower end version. That's about 134 horsepower in this uh, current generation. Yeah, and we drove that back in October. It's not a bad uh, powertrain setup. Now, 134 horsepower from a 1.8 liter four-cylinder is not going to knock your socks off or anything. 
but that's really pretty much competitive for the segment yeah. of vehicle. Um, another big thing is that we continue to think that all-wheel drive will be offered for this new model. That's something that the Civic has continually not offered. The Elantra doesn't have all-wheel drive, so that's a unique feature that we see on the Corolla that a lot in the segment don't offer. And as far as potential fuel economy figures, I think with the particularly with the aerodynamic shape of this vehicle, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to push those fuel economy figures up, even though we have the same powertrain or maybe even a more powerful version. I'd say the current 47 miles a gallon combined could maybe improve to over 50 MPG combined, which would yeah. be very, very impressive. And then upper 40 mile a gallon combined for all-wheel drive models. One thing I'd really like to see, uh, I don't believe they offer it anymore, but they used to have the LE um, Eco, the special version, I would like to see one that's just really focused on just maximizing fuel economy and just takes that to the stratosphere because that's something that the competition really isn't doing right now. Yeah, there will be a Civic Hybrid. That's going to be out probably by the time this yeah. comes out. So that's why we especially think that this will be hybrid only is because uh, a lot of the competition is going to be heading that uh, hybrid route. Also, I do want to point out, I don't think a manual will be offered at all on the sedan model. Uh, that will probably be reserved for GR Corolla only or the hatchback model. And we do want to talk about the pricing and what we expect this new Corolla to cost. Now, here's a little refresher of what the current uh, Corolla looks like from their uh, building price here. Um, not a bad looking vehicle, uh, not super exciting, so I'm hoping we'll see a little bit more style thrown into the uh, all new one. But as far as the pricing is concerned, we're on the hybrid Corolla. It starts at 23,050 bucks, goes up to the 26,850 range for the XLE model. If you add all wheel drive to the SE model, that's gonna make that a little bit more expensive, a little under $27,000. Um, we expect, of course, that the price will rise a little bit, but this is a very price conscious segment. So you can't be going and raising the price five, ten thousand dollars every time you mm -hmm. redesign it. So I'd expect it to start similarly uh, priced about a thousand dollars more or so, twenty four thousand maybe as a starting point if you're looking at the hybrid. Uh, all the way up to about $30,000 for a fully loaded model. Uh, depending on what features they offer, you could push into the $30,000 range, maybe $31,000, especially if you equipped it with all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not expecting a huge price increase, so very similar pricing to the current Corolla. Now, we've been calling it a 2025 model year throughout this video. That's because that is what we are expecting. We, we think the current generation, since it just came off a refresh, yeah. will make another year. And then starting in uh, mid to late 2024, I think that's where we're going to start to see the official new version of this Corolla. And then that will be on sale coming after that. Yeah, Toyota is pretty consistent about when they launch new vehicles. Uh, they tend to be available in the very beginning uh, or very end of the previous year and into the early. So if it's a 2025 model year, it will be available in late fall 24 or early winter 25. Um, so I think that's pretty much uh, when this new Corolla will be coming out. And guys, that's pretty much where we're gonna leave off on this video. Now, what we want from you all is to comment down below what you think about the exterior renderings of this new Corolla, what you think about the interior renderings, would you buy this over a Honda Civic or other com competition like the Nissan Sentra, the Volkswagen uh, Jetta, all those options? Would you buy this Corolla over that, especially if it has some of the changes that we talked about? Do you agree with what we think this new Corolla will have? Let us know all that down in the comments below. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for our continued support. And we have a website with sound level readings on the website. Yes, By we do. popular demand, you guys asked for it, and we have done it. So you yep. can go to the website, you can check out a list of sound level readings by segment and see which vehicles are the quietest or the loudest. Of course, we also have TikTok and Instagram. We appreciate if you gave us a follow there as well. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.